What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today with episode number three in our new series talking about Bourbon Trail Distilleries. Today we're going to be checking out Rabbit Hole Distillery. Now Rabbit Hole Distillery is a pretty cool place. They're a pretty new company overall, uh, at least in the bourbon world. And they're located in downtown Louisville. Now they're not right on Whiskey Row like a lot of other distilleries like Old Forester, Michter's. That's kind of all on one main road. This is off Whiskey Row, but it's still within about three, four miles of the whole downtown Louisville center. And this is a really cool distillery. So Rabbit Hole has four different main expressions. They have a bourbon, a rye, a port finished bourbon, and then they also have a gin. So pretty cool expressions. And I want to talk to you guys about the tour a little bit. About the tasting portion of it and um, just about the, the overall experience at Rabbit Hole. So Rabbit Hole was actually the first distillery I went to out of every any of them during my trip to uh, to Kentucky. So to start the tour, uh, you you start the gift shop. They actually bring you a sample of their normal bourbon expression to start the tour. So that was really cool. Got to try a sample even before the tour started. And um, from there, we you know we talked about the history. We started walking. They show us the actual processing center, so you know the, the the mill, the milling part of it. They talk about the grain, the the distilling, just a brief a brief history about the distilling, and it's pretty cool. They actually show this pump that runs from one side of the distillery to the other, and it actually pumps grain or pumps mash underneath, and you can actually walk over it. It's open. You can look down at it. That was really cool, actually, because you could kind of kind of actually see the mash moving through. I thought that was a really cool thing and, you know, tourist friendly, um, something they can really show you and you can actually see for yourself during the tour. Uh, after that, we actually had to take an elevator up to the main distillery area. Now, this was really cool because everything was kind of leveled at Rabbit Hole. They're in a pretty small building, but it's a tall building. So they were able, they had to architecturally build the building so that kind of everything was close-knit and all together. So they had a huge column still. I mean, this thing was huge. It pretty much was as tall as the entire building itself. And um, you had to take stairs to pretty much walk up and around to see each portion of the di distilling process. I mean, it was pretty cool. You got to see the uh, the fermentation vats. You got to, to see that going on. Then you got to actually see the, um, you know, the distilling equipment itself. And then that column still, the top level is actually the, I don't know what you call it, but I guess like the peak hole, you can see into the actual column still. And you can see, you know, the vapors coming off. That was really cool. That top level is where they actually finished the tour. And that's their tasting room or their bar, their cocktail bar. Everything at Rabbit Hole was very, very modern. Um, I mean, it was gorgeous. One of the brand new, like I said, pretty new, pretty new distillery overall, and um, a, just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. At the end of the tour, they did bring you to again, as I mentioned, that top level where you got to try four samples. Now, this was all their expressions again, so you got to try the bourbon, the rye, the sherry finished, and then the gin. So pretty cool. You got to taste a gin actually on this as well. As far as the tasting goes, um, it was nice. I. A couple of the expressions to me tasted rather young. Um, I'm honestly I'm not 100% sure if this is their own product or if it's um, sourced. From my understanding is that they are sourcing currently, but of course they're working on their own product and they're trying to incorporate their own product into the expressions as soon as possible. So the bourbon was solid. Um, the, the sherry finish was good. And the rye was actually pretty unique. So um, they were very interesting, unique bottles. They're a little bit pricey. Um, again, this is kind of a craft distillery. So, you know, they can tend to have higher price on their bottles occasionally. And um, that was kind of the case with uh, with Rabbit Hole. But their, their gin was actually really, really good. I was impressed with their gin. There was actually a guy in um, in our tour group who said this is the only gin he drinks. You know, he loves rabbit holes. I think they may have even sourced the gin just because of the setup they have too. I'm pretty sure they said they did now. Um, but that but the gin was really good. So wherever they were sourcing from um, was making good gin. As far as the gift shop goes at Rabbit Hole, um, it was a very nice, very new, modern looking gift shop. Gift shop limited releases, they pretty much only have their core line at the moment. So it's there's nothing really coming out immediately. Um, they should have a new expression coming out very soon, is what we were told. They didn't even have the name of it at the time when we were there. Um, it's probably been announced now, and I can find that for you. Hopefully get some pictures and put that up for you, too. 
They did just do a whole rebrand with their labeling now. So the labeling on the bottles is going to be different than what they were when, when I was there at the, the distillery. Overall, Rabbit Hole is a really, really cool company. Um, I really enjoyed the tour. It was very informative, very cool to see all the, the modern and the architectural aspect of it. So if you're into architecture and you're into that side of it, you know, the distilling equipment, you got an up close and personal look at all that kind of stuff at Rabbit Hole. So really cool to um, to see that side of things if that's what you, you'd like to do and you'd like to see. After the tasting was done, you were able to go try one of their signature cocktails at the bar. They use the gin, of course, all their own whiskeys to make their cocktails. And um, again, a very, very nice place. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous setup with the cocktail bar area and, and with the tasting room itself. Price of admission at this Rabbit Hole Distillery is $23 for the standard tour and tasting. I do not know the price of just the tasting. I didn't do that, so I'm not sure. Um, it was an option when we were there. You could just you know, walk over in the gift shop and, and do a tasting section. But I don't know the price on that, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna quote that. Um, so pretty cool, you get options for both. Very nice place to look at. Overall, if you're okay dropping $23 and you like to see the up close and personal look at the distillery side of things, distilling side of things, I should say, Rabbit hole is a good option for you. And the, the options weren't bad either. You know, the, the actual tasting wasn't bad at all. You got to try five samples total with the beginning and then the, the four at the end. So I liked it. Our tour guide was awesome. I think you'll have a good time. Thank you all so much for watching episode three in our Bourbon Trail Distillery series. Let me know down in the comments below, have you tried any of Rabbit Hole's expressions? If so, what's your favorite? Did you like them? Did you not like them? What were your overall thoughts? Also, if you haven't already checked out my Patreon page, please do. Um, it's a great way to support the channel, and um, I really appreciate each and every one of you who already are patrons. You really don't know how much the support means to me. Thank you all so much for watching this episode today. Stay insane, everyone. <laughs>